For the past little while, I've been working on an exporter from Blender for the Bevy Game Engine. And it's finally reached the state where you can actually build a small game in it. So here's a little game that I made. You can just fly a little spaceship around this little map. Nothing too complicated. But the cool thing is, in the code, literally the only line there is, is this whole setup of you know, loading the scene, plus defining the components and interaction. I'm not telling it where to spawn the player. I'm not setting up the level through some arcane system. No, the level is defined fully over here in Blender. So I can come and I can grab some parts, move them somewhere else, rebuild it, or re-export re the scenes, and lo and behold, it has changed. And now I can escape the level, cool. And this export from Blender also includes all of the bevy components required for the game. So if I wanted to, for example, make a new rigid body, I can come along and I can say I want this to be a collider, it's a box, I want it to be a rigid body, and it'll be a dynamic one, let's just let's rotate it so that it's got some um, kind of initial fall that we'll be able to see. And again, there's my box, and I can push it around with my spaceship. And another thing that's quite cool about the exporter currently is that it uses Blender's linking system. So this player spaceship isn't defined inside the scene, nor are the meshes for the map. So I can go along to the player blend, and I can, for example, change how much thrust the player has. Save that, and because it's linked through, through Blender's internal linking system. Now my player ship is going to be super slow. Whee! So yeah, it's finally hit the point where it can export a whole bunch of texture properties, you can export all the normal kind of bevy components. And so now I'm going to start making some mini games in it to yeah, dog food it a bit more. <laughs>